Hello everyone, it's Not a Noob Pat, and welcome to Perk Review. Today we are taking a look at the general survivor perk, Hope. As soon as you finish the 5th generator, you gain a 7% haste status effect for 120 seconds. The pro is that this perk can be the difference between surviving or not during a pivotal point in the match. It can help you get to an exit gate quicker, it can help you extend a chase with the killer so your teammates can open the door, and so on. The major con is that this perk could also be dead weight. You have to make it to the final generator being completed for it to make a difference. Then, you don't need this perk every time it does activate. I show this in the video example portion of the video, so stay tuned. Let's get into our video demonstration. You can see that I've finished the final generator in this game and hope will activate. In the top right hand corner of the screen, you will see that you gain a haste status effect indicated by the hope perk icon. You can track the 120 seconds in two different ways. You can either look at the perk icon in the perk window rotating clockwise or the haste status effect icon rotating counterclockwise. 7% does not seem like a huge difference, but you can see how it makes a 5 or 6 meter difference in the short distance of this example. Let's get into our video examples. In this first example, the fifth generator has already been powered and I am trying to use my speed boost to catch up to the killer to body block. When that fails, I am off to the races to get to the door that was just opened by a teammate. You can see that I am utilizing my speed boost to avoid being hit by the killer. I am about to go into slow-mo to show you that the ghost face clearly misses a swing and unshrouds himself in the process. This speed boost allows me to practically go untouched to the door. Even if the killer had no ed or I was exposed when he hit me here, I believe I would have fallen through the exit gate on the way out, so Hope came up big here. In our next example, I am up against a bubble when Hope activates. This gameplay is old as you can tell and I wasn't as good at looping yet. Don't make fun of me for burning the god palette because I ran into a wall. However, this is where the 7% can make a big difference. The haste status effect is making up for the mistakes I'm making while looping and allowing me to elongate the chase and avoid being hit. As I continue the loop, I know my teammate is on the door so I decide to hop out the window and I don't think that should have been a hit there, but oh well. I continue to use the Hope 7% bonus to create distance as I head to the door and the Bubba is not going to catch me as I escape. I've shown you the good, now let's bring this perk back down to earth a little bit. You can see that I finished the final generator to activate Hope. I initially do a decent job of avoiding the Oni, but I do go down while going through this window vault. Unfortunately for me, I am going to head to the basement. All this time, Hope's timer is still ticking for its 120 seconds of activation. By the time that one of my teammates ends up unhooking me, Hope is about to expire. This is unfortunate because I desperately need it right now. I am headed for the open door but you are going to see that the Oni eventually catches up and downs me. Had Hope still been active, I probably would have been able to escape. Unfortunately, the 120 second timer is always ticking regardless if you are hooked or not. The devs can allow this perk to be unlimited or longer for fear of it being abused by the player base, but the timer being paused while you were hooked would have been a nice touch, but oh well. On to our final two examples. In this first one, I am hooked by the killer as the final generator is powered. No one eventually comes for me, so this perk ends up being a dead weight perk slot. In this case, it probably would have been better for me to use a perk like Unbreakable so I could have gotten myself up, or just using a better perk that could have benefited me the entire game. Finally, you simply won't need hope every game you play. Even though I do get to the end of the game and this perk activates, the perk is essentially still dead weight because I only use the 7% speed boost to run to the door that is 20 meters away. I would have easily opened the exit gate in time with or without this perk. My teammate who went down is on his death hook, so it's not like I could have used this perk to go rescue them either. With those examples in mind, let's give this perk a grade. Hope is a 3.5 out of 10. If you are going to use a perk that could be dead weight like Hope, the perk better be worth it. Perks like Adrenaline or Decisive Strike could also be dead weight, but they make plays far more often than Hope and function way better. As you saw in the first two examples, Hope can be the difference between escaping or not. However, these situations don't happen as frequently as you would get value from Adrenaline, which is the better speed boost perk to end the game with. Check out the video description to watch the Adrenaline perk review to see why. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave it a like. If you want to check out more perk review, make sure to look for the links in the description and visit my channel to subscribe. 
I also stream twice a week on Twitch if you want to stop by. Take it easy.